we just got some big news. So today had to be a two video kind of day. And what is that big news? Well, let's talk about it. Hey guys, Nightfall here. And this afternoon, we got some major news that either myself or Ubisoft is way over hyping. We got this tweet from the official X Defiant Twitter stating that tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, they will have either a live stream or a premiere video on YouTube going over the rank changes that are coming this week. Yeah, that's right, this week, which means it'll probably be included in the patch we get on Wednesday, more than likely. So what could these changes be? Well, a post like this hints at some major changes and not just some tweaks that get thrown into a patch notes and overlooked. I'm thinking things like faction limits, but hopefully not in the traditional sense. Maybe what I mean is a skill limit, because a faction limit could be going too far. If someone wants to play two echelon on one team, let them. Just one has to have the ghillie suit and the other one has to have the intel suit. And I really hope they don't impose this on the unranked playlist, because that would just throw things way out of whack. They also need to address the incomplete lobbies, like games starting with only two people on each team or mismatched unbalanced teams. So hopefully that gets addressed as well among a bunch of other things that rank really needs right now. Who knows, maybe they'll even introduce team deathmatch into the ranks pool. But then there's this reply from Mark Rubin, which at this point, he has to be trolling, right? Like there's, there's no way I'm not in some fever dream reading this the way that my mind has been seeing it for weeks. And I've even discussed it on this channel. The technicalities are a straight up joke. Oh, we don't use technically skill-based matchmaking. We just use an MMR that determines your rank based on your wins and losses and how you perform in each of those games and matches you up against players of similar MMR ranking, which is exactly how skill-based matchmaking works. I, like, I'm flabbergasted at this point. Just, I, I can't put into words how annoyed this actually makes me. It's f***ing skill-based matchmaking. You can put makeup on a pig all you want, but it's still skill-based matchmaking. And to clarify my problem, I don't have a problem that there's skill-based matchmaking. My problem is with that they're trying to skirt around the reality of what it is. I have no issues with this type of skill-based matchmaking. In fact, I would go so far as to say that we need this in unranked because I'm tired of seeing anyone in my lobby going 1 in 22. Like, how do you even achieve that? There, you, there has to be an achievement you unlock on Xbox or something to do that. How can someone be this bad at a game? You're telling me that this person was so unlucky that they couldn't catch a break and find someone not looking at them and then just shoot him a few times? Bro literally stumbled onto the objective by accident with his whole 60 points. Like, would skill-based matchmaking and unranked be such a bad thing after seeing things like this? But let's take a moment and stop roasting the 1 in 20 dude and think for a minute how they felt. Unless they were completely zooted out of their minds, this had to have been the most annoying game that this guy just played. And maybe that's not their typical game. Maybe they were just matched up with some sweats or somebody at a way higher skill level than them or something. And I know this is a slippery slope and a touchy subject for some of the COD refugees and some of the people who hate skill-based matchmaking, but everybody gives it such a bad name when it's not even its fault. Maybe I just don't see it the same way. I don't know. But let's get back on track here and talk about this patch coming on Wednesday. We discussed some of the rank changes that should hopefully be coming with it, but they wouldn't miss this opportunity with a patch without fixing other things, right? And there's also been some rumors about the stats page being fixed, the LVOAC sites being fixed on the mastery camo, and hopefully we get some netcode improvements as well, because dying around a corner is still no fun and it needs to stop. And for everyone waiting for that one patch, that one patch to just fix it all, Fix everything you hate about this game. Let's have a come to grips meeting right now. No single patch will ever fix everything. In fact, patches will oftentimes break things even more. And we've seen that firsthand with this game. And for everyone calling to remove snipers or saying that they're still OP and they have no place in a game like this, try using them for a day. And let me know if you still think the same things after that. Snipers are a part of every game. It's the people that make them cheesy and broken. But you can't stop that. Just like you can't stop cheaters, which hopefully this patch also addresses because they have been running rampant 
over the last few weeks with radio silence from everyone else. And anytime I run into a cheater, I don't go and run on Twitter and post about it or make a whole video about that one cheater. I just report them in game and move on because I know hopefully eventually they'll fix it. They'll work out the kinks with the anti-cheat system. Maybe they'll implement something new with all the Cronus and everything that's going on on Xbox, but it's truly gotten out of hand. As far as the patch goes, that's everything I wanted to cover. And now I want to direct your attention to this graphic here and prepare to feel attacked. Don't leave yet. Just because the video is over doesn't mean that you get to leave. Like your teacher always told you, the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. 83% of you watching this video right now probably aren't subscribed. And I get it. There are so many channels I watch on the regular, but never actually subscribe to. And to be honest, I have no idea why. Maybe I don't want the algorithm to think this is all I watch, or maybe it just slips my mind every time. I totally get it. But this one time, make the exception, hit that subscribe button, take the leap of faith, and trust that YouTube will only grace your algorithm from this point on. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also have your notification bell turned on for when I drop tomorrow's hopefully confirmed patch notes video, and I'll catch you in that upload.